Hi friends, we will learn about file dialog. Using this uh, component, we can present to a user a file browser where user can browse to different directories and areas in the uh, local system and point to a file. So that, uh, that file we can upload it or save it, whatever we can do it. Now this file browser, whatever will uh, show it, uh, we can use it in place of a path. Earlier we have seen you know, creating or reading an excel file and all, we are giving the path directly inside as a parameter inside our functions. Now we need not do that because we can use this dialog box so user can usually change its position location and browse it. We will see how that will work on that. Now you can see this is a basic template we have. Now we'll, let's run this. You can see there is a just a label upload file and read and there is a button. We can click it and we will connect our uh, uh, open dialog uh, file dialog to this click event. So far we have not done that. So here you can see the, our label is here and you can see the button is here. So now to this we will code our on click event to this button and subsequently write the code to show the file dialog. To our button we will write uh, our uh, command. So command equal to now we'll say lmbd lambda. Now in this we'll write a function name upload file. Now this function so far we are not written we are going to write that. Let's scroll up a bit. Yeah. So here we'll say now the, our function will define upload file. Now here is the our upload file function inside this we'll write our code. So first we'll write the our file, file equal to file dialog. Now ask open file name. So there are two ask open file and one ask open file name. We'll see the difference in that. So before that let's just ask open file name, we'll use it. Now whatever file we got it now, uh, now then what we will do, we'll create one file object. FOB we are just giving name open file. Now we'll say in the read mode. This is file open command. We are creating a file object using that, and it gives a because this is a string. This only holds the path what the user has selected. This will open the this particular one will open the dialog box, and p user will browse through it and point out. Now this file is a simple string and which holds it. Now we are using a file object and opening it for in read mode only. Now what we will do? We'll just print it. Print. We'll say fob and we'll root use read methods. Fine. So that's all. This is what will be whatever we'll read, we'll be printing it here. Let's uh, run this and see. Uh, upload file. Okay, D I missed e, e here, D E F. Fine. Now let's run this. Yeah. So uh, this is coming here. Upload file. What I will upload? Yeah, dialog box is open. Okay, I'll just delete six. I have clicked it. You can see this. Whatever I have selected, the content is displayed at the console here. So, what you actually you have done? This is once this dialog box is opened, it has selected a file, and the, now uh, that selected file, all the content we have read it and displayed it in the console. We'll explore the different options, whatever we can give, and then we'll move towards displaying the data on the dialog box itself rather than the sorry on the tick enter window rather than displaying at the console. I will write a initial dir or in initial directory option. So that with that uh, initial dir. So with this it will uh, open the particular location what I specify. So let's say D drive <coughs> and let's say my data then I, there are inside that also I can focus <coughs> my HTML. So this is the directory I want by default to open. I can change it also. So let's try that. You upload file, you can see this is pointing to my HTML inside my data. So I can select anything from here. Now I can, I can tell the uh, browser that Okay, this error is coming because I have not read it, cancel it, we will overcome that also. Now I can tell also that uh, in, in, uh, in addition to initial directory, you give a selection of the file. I don't want user to select by default a CSV file or something else, don't want to go beyond that. So what I can do, I can specify the file type also. So put, let me give a comma here, I will say file type is equal to, now it's a list, I can define it outside and bring it here also. But let me 
inside that I will okay so I will say CSB files now comma dot CSB this sorry this will be inside quotes again so this is one file type I uh, I want suppose I want some more file type or I can keep it outside and bring the list here I suppose I want it to uh, other types also I can put a comma here now write it one more file type I want to accept so I will let me say text text docs now this is the drop down list will appear there so I will say that now star dot txt now this is the type of uh, files one more also I can give let me just tell now all types now let me say star dot star okay let's run this upload file now you can see by default it is looking for csv files i can change it to text docs also if any text is there or i will tell all types once i give all types this will appear now there is something in uh, here also i can all type it is there now i want to restrict it to csv files only so i have only this cxc file i will select this it's opened the data is open now that is what it is happened but why that if I cancel it there is an error in that you can just see that error once again you just I will just open it up and cancel this is generates error because the this particular this line generates the error because it has not read it anything so what I have to do is I have to give a condition here if file or if file then only they let it what I will do sorry fine now let's see even if I cancel also what happens executing upload file I will find nothing is there I am just cancelling nothing no error is there because this this if condition will take care of it now that is fine now what about displaying on the window so we'll, we will display it a con console now we'll take a tree view and display it window before we display the data in our uh, window we'll learn one thing what is the user selected uh, file path and how we'll display it so for that we'll display here one I will just declare a label you see it is a label only I am declaring a string variable my str and connected this label label to to the string variable my str and given a foreground red so the red font it will come up and it placed it under row 3 below the uh, that button whatever you use it browsing so column in the one so I have set the initial value to 0 or you can say path here I can say the path here that will happen now what I will do I will once the file is uh, collected I will put my str dot set equal to uh, this sorry my str dot set not equal to this value I will set it to our file because it's a file name that's all so let's see how it works I have path here I have just written you can make it blank also I'll upload file clicked so my is I let me go to my data here I have some CSV file I have collected it fine now you can see that the path I have written here so that is how now let's learn what's the difference between uh, uh, what is what you have done here is ask open file name and ask open file when you are using ask open file name here we have used we are getting return value as a string or the path of the file as a string so directly we are printing the value here by uh, using my str the string variable or then we are creating an object here and then reading it now say we'll change it to instead of we'll say ask open file now in, now we'll get a file is an object for a file object it is so you cannot use a it as a string so what you have to do is no this line is also not required because we we are we need not have to create a file object so what i can write it also 
create file object. This is not required now because it itself and instead of FOB, let me use file. That's all because I am using now ask open file gives me a file object. So, I need not create it again. So, let us run this and verify it. Yeah, upload file. Now, I have to sorry here I am I have to go to my here it is till it 6 is there. Now, it is ready. So, the data comes up here. Fine. So, this is how I am using the, um, the uh, this, uh, this is the difference between this. Suppose, uh, I will go back to file name again. Let me close this first. Fine. I am going back to uh, file name. So, I will what I will do? I will remove this. I can use this and, and then I have to create a file object and here I will use the file object or I can keep the same name also. So, I need not change it below. So, file open because now the file object uh, I had to create because I have used file name. Let us run this once. Yeah, upload file. I will come to my data, take the CSV file here. Fine it is displaying as a string. So, this is the basic difference. Now, we will try to display or it is a very long video. We will go to the next part to display whatever the data we are displaying here. This data will take and display it in the window itself by using a tree view.